Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can support our channel as well as get the updates of the newest videos going up. For those of you guys that have been with me for quite a while, we are, you already know how we do. So let's get into your reading Libra. How are you guys doing? My lovely Libras, I know you're feeling a bit emotional right <laughs> being tested a little bit it's okay be patient with yourself it is the full moon that we're still experiencing a uh, major transformation for a lot of you guys a lot of ending cycles but new beginnings as well so whatever energy you're really focusing on right now whatever energy that you constantly are vibrating to that's exactly the outcome so again put intentions out there Okay, so I'm shuffling the deck right now, and what the messages that I'm getting right now for a lot of you Libras out there is, again, patience is going to be very important for the month of April. I feel that for some of you guys, you've really been putting effort or energy towards wanting to manifest um, some type of accomplishment, some type of goal. Uh, they're telling me for some of you guys, you may be in the process or looking towards purchasing a home purchasing a vehicle, making some type of major purchase. What they're telling you is don't rush into it um, for the month of April, Libra. Uh, really look into what it is that, like basically do your research is what they're telling me. Uh, be patient, like I said, don't rush into making any major decisions for the month of April. Um, do your research, okay? That's, that's, that's what they're saying. Uh, they're also saying here that for a lot of you guys, you may be growing impatient or there may be a feeling of a bit of restriction, like you're working or been working very hard towards something and you just haven't seen the outcome. You just haven't seen uh, the materialization of what you're wanting to happen. Do not give up, Libra. Do not give up because they're telling me a lot of you Libras are getting to the point of wanting to give up right when something is going to manifest for you guys. So again, be patient through this process, Libra. All right. One more shuffle. All right, let's get into it. Now, in regards to communication with the element of air, you have the Page of Swords. Page of Swords, a lot of communication coming through for the month of April. For some of you guys, this could be you looking towards someone. Uh, this is you looking at their social media, stalking even. <laughs> On the down low, it could be through fake accounts. Uh, this could be you or this could be the person that you are dealing with, uh, Libra. Um I feel more drawn to your energy, so I feel that this could be you looking at someone's social media, someone that has sparked your interest, but there is almost like a feeling of not really knowing how to how to approach them. Um, so I see you guys really looking into this person or this person or this specific individual that's gotten your attention. Um, I feel that for some of you guys, there could have been like almost like this person was around. Uh, your friend dynamic, your social uh, circle, um, but there was some type of blockage that happened and perhaps there's been like lack of communication. That's quickly going to be changing for the month of April. I do see communication coming through for some of you guys. Again, I do feel that someone's definitely keeping an eye on you, Libra. Now, in regards to your finances, beautiful card, and that's exactly what they were showing me, uh, you guys. So the Nine of Cups is emotional fulfillment. This is the wish card. So again, in regards to your finances and career, there is a wish that is going to be granted for you in the month of April. Uh, this is a manifestation. This is something that you've been really putting your heart into or really putting a lot of effort and energy towards it. And I see it finally manifesting for you guys. Again, they're telling me, be patient with this process. If there is a business or you started your business and it just hasn't taken off, do not give up. Do not throw in the towel. If you've been working really hard in the career or field that you're in and you just feel like you ha they haven't taken notice or they haven't really appreciated or given you an opportunity to continue growing, be patient because that's quickly going to be changing for you. Now, the obstacle to overcome here is the page of cups. And this is with the element of fire. Um in the position of the element of fire, I should say. Uh, and the Page of Cups is holding back. I feel that for a lot of you guys, this could be in connection with someone that's got your attention, Libra. 
this could be you or this could be them. But there is definitely like, it's almost like there is shared connection or shared feelings, but you guys are not making a move. Like you guys are not taking action towards each other. It's like one is stalking, sorry, one is stalking, one is looking at their social medias, one is wanting to see what's going on. The other one's over here in their feelings. They're over here like, I don't know if I should, you know, pursue them. I don't know if I should communicate. I don't know if I should reach out. It's like both of you guys are extremely in your head. And as an obstacle, the page of cups is there is a need for you to be in connection or in tune with your emotions. You got to stop listening to your head, Libra. Stop doubting yourself too much and listen to your intuition. Now, in regards to emotions and the element of love, we have the King of Wands here. So the King of Wands may be dealing with fire energy, Sagittarius, Libra, sorry, Sagittarius, uh, Leo, Aries type of energy. For others of you, you may be dealing with the water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, there's fire, I mean, there's air here as well. So it could be any sign, but the energy that they're taking on is the King of Wands. And this is a person that is very stubborn this is a person that is very strong their personality is very strong they're a go-getter so it's almost like there is almost like a feeling of yes i have feelings towards you but i don't really want to reveal because maybe this person this is your perception of them libra maybe this person gets a lot of attention maybe this person is like a lot of people follow them a lot of people listen to them a lot of people want to grab their attention and there is almost a feeling of inadequacy or a feeling of why would they be interested in me type of energy um however like i said i feel that both of you guys are like really watching each other um so you need to get out of your head and take action if you want to see forward movement libra uh the king of wands can also represent the need for you to be more confident in yourself or be more assertive um I know that sometimes you guys have, you know, when you're going to make a decision, you 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 overthink or overanalyze everything. And what they're telling you is there is potential here for something long term. There is potential for love, for stability. But you have to be more assertive in how you approach people or assertive in who you are. Stop doubting yourself, Libra. Now, Spirit's message here is the Four of Pentacles. So it's beholding, it's having, it's being able to attain being able to attain the financial stability that you've been wanting to manifest or being able to attain the love or the potential uh, for love and stability to come through. You got to get out of your head, Libra, and you got to stop. It's like for those of you guys that are in, you know, seeking love or wanting some type of manifestation in regards to love, you're blocking yourself. You're the only one that's keeping yourself away from finding your happiness. Why? Because you have this man here holding this this pentacle, right? You're so scared or you're so fearful of being open and vulnerable that they may, you know, decide to take advantage of that or take advantage of your vulnerability. But what they're telling you, this is the need for you to open up, to be vulnerable. It's okay, especially if this person has uh, shown you that they're in. And I feel you know who this person is, Libra. All right, so let's see what your oracle message is here for the month of April 2021. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh, we have two cards that flew out, so I'm going to keep them. We have attachment and appreciation. Okay, so these are very contrast cards. Uh, this is a representation of, a uh, of attachment, the fear of letting go. Um, is If you can see here, this is a woman holding a mask. And this is you holding on to your perception of this could be of love. This could be your perception of, you know, in regards to your career and your finances. It's like there is something that's coming that you're not aware of and you're not seeing because you're so consumed or focused in the present, in the right now. Um, attachment is a need to let go. If you can see the chain right here, there is a chain that's holding this woman back. So this could be you uh, keeping yourself from receiving blessings because you are not wanting or refusing to let go of being in control. And being in control could represent 
the fear of opening up to people or the fear of letting the person that you're interested in, uh, letting them in. There is a fear because you may feel like you're giving them the upper hand. But in reality, this is just a defense mechanism. You're not wanting to give up that control because then you feel like you're no longer in control. And these are attachment issues. So again, you're holding yourself back, Libra, by being so defensive. Now, your next card here is appreciation. And appreciation is being thankful, being grateful for the opportunities that come through. This is also not necessarily focusing on, you know, on the present, um, Yes, being present is very important, but this can also represent the need to be thankful and grateful for what you're trying to manifest or what you're trying to bring through. Because when you show gratitude to the universe, when you feel grateful, when you feel thankful in your heart, it will continuously keep blessing you with abundance. So again, it's almost like, yes, you have the opportunity to manifest the financial stability you want. You have the opportunity to manifest the person you want. But it starts with appreciation and being grateful and letting go of your attachments and fears. Okay, Libra? I hope that this gives you guys some type of insight. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, share, and comment. And we'll see each other soon. Bye.